Hey guys. Hi. Uh, you know me, right? I mean, this video's on my channel. You know who I am, I would hope. Do any of you know who this guy is? I, I don't even know myself. How long has it been since you made a video? Um, it's been a year. He has a YouTube channel. With subscribers. Yeah. Yeah. And he doesn't make videos. And he's doing some really cool stuff right now, too, that would be excellent for making videos. Yeah. What are you doing? What are you, you're getting right. You, you get a like two pipe shows coming up. I out. have two pipe shows in uh, less than two weeks. The Columbus Pipe Show in Dublin, Ohio at the Crown Plaza. There is the NASPC uh, Pipe Show uh, Friday the 22nd of August and the 23rd of August. Um, I'll have a table with my leather goods there. I'll have pipe bags. He does amazing leather work for those of you that don't know. Thank you. And he's going to be also at the Southern Fried Pipe Show in September. Yep, the Nashville Show. Um, that's uh, just as uh, about a week ago. Uh, Greg, uh, Crossroads Greg, convinced me to go, and my wife is really excited to go now, too, so we're going to make a nice trip of it. So um, he makes, like, really neat uh, pipe bags, um, pipe stands. Uh, he's done a ton of cigar cases. He's... Some of the artwork and stuff he's done on cigar cases are amazing. Um, well, looks like he's going to show you. Check that out. Which one cigar cases? I guess like it could have been prepared and shown other stuff, but you know. Oh, that's all right. That's uh. And then, um, yeah, there's a. Now, are you going to have some of the uh, all pipe bags? Pipe cleaner holders also, or are I'm, you doing I'm, that at all? I'm working on it. I'm. <laughs> I don't have really any time cool too. Uh, yeah, nice cylindrical um, telescoping case that holds 50 pipe cleaners. Um, uh, I want to make them, um, but I'm focusing on having pipe bags. I'm going to try to have 10 pipe bags by uh, the Columbus show, and hopefully that, that much and more uh, for the Nashville show. Uh, and I'll have some examples of all my other work, um, you know, as a slideshow and pictures, and um, hopefully take orders as well, because the custom items do take time. Uh, usually four to six weeks, so a lot of any custom uh, uh, cigar uh, cases, and I want to do like you know custom tool uh, designs on top of the the flap of my uh, pipe pouches as well. So if you guys don't know him, this is Andrew. Hi. Uh, he's got a YouTube channel that I will put down below so that you can check him out and go subscribe to his channel. Uh, you may know his brother is a little more active and makes videos still. Yeah, um, Eric, who Pretty on often. YouTube is uh, Theo Bacchanist. So if you know Eric, this is his brother. So he actually has uh, agreed to help me out today with a little project that I wanted to do. Uh, except the problem is I don't have um, the equipment to do it. So uh, between the two of us, we've got enough that we can show you here some tips and tricks on Voxer. Boxer. Some things that will help you out with uh, Voxer in general. And then also, uh, for those of you that are participating or that would like to participate in the group Voxer, right now we've got, what, something like 50 people in there? A lot. And it gets pretty crazy. A so, cool guys and girls. Yeah, there's some really cool people in the group. Uh, if you guys want to get involved in the Voxer group, uh, just hit, you know leave me a comment, let me know, give me your Voxer username, and I'll add you in the group. Up until now, what I've been doing is, before I add somebody to the group, I kind of talk to them one-on-one -on -one and give them a little uh, uh, some uh, tips and tricks of, of things that you should probably know before starting to, to be involved in a boxer group. But I figured instead of doing that one-on-one -on -one with everybody over and over and over again, why not just make a video and then you guys can check out the video and then um, you know, once you understand some of the things about how to how to maneuver in the Voxer group, then it makes it a little bit easier for you guys um, and more enjoyable for everybody all together. So, <clears throat> right now we've got, this is the Android version and you've got the Apple Juice version? Yes. Okay. And Same on the iPad and iPhone. These are both on uh, Andrew's, um, Andrew's Voxer and you can see up top here, uh, this is the, the group chat and there are 3,437 unread and unheard messages. Now Andrew hasn't hasn't gone through that in probably a few days. Yeah, it's, it's been at least three, three days. But normally with a group this size, it's not unreasonable if you step away from the group for a little bit and then come back, 
um, it's not unreasonable to have several hundred messages oh, yeah. that, you, that are that have been missed or three thousand in a day. Yeah. So. <clears throat> Uh, what Voxer has been used for up until this point mostly has been kind of one-on-one -on -one conversation or even with some groups. People will try and go back and listen to the old messages. With a group this size, um, for Andrew to go back and, oh my goodness, for him to go back and listen to 3,000 something messages um, is probably not very realistic. And so, it does not happen. No. The best thing to do in a group this size when you've got that many messages is just go through and clear all your messages um, because this can have a tendency to bog down your phone. Yes. And I've even heard occasion from a couple people where their phone has completely locked up because they have a ton of messages. So when you are in a group chat to clear out those old messages, you want to go into the chat Click on that chat. There we go. Okay. And then up top here, these three little dots, you click on that. This is the Android. Uh, this again. is on Android. Yeah. And if you go down here where it says clear all messages in this chat, do you mind if I clear your 3,000 some go messages? Ahead. All right. So Not we're going to them anyway. Clear all messages. Sorry, guys. <laughs> Are you sure you want to clear all the messages? Yes. And that will give him a fresh start. So with a, with a group this size, what people have been doing is uh, it's more, they just kind of get involved in the group as the conversation's happening. Because we've got people in all different time zones, different parts of the globe uh, that have different schedules. Like me, I'm a truck driver and I drive at night a lot of time. So um, around the clock? Yeah. All the time. It, there can be messages coming in all day long. So um, just being involved in whatever conversation happens to be going on at the time is kind of the best way to do it. Now, since there are um, since there are messages and stuff coming in all day long, it's here, this is probably the if you take nothing away from this video but one thing, this is probably the biggest, most important thing in the group chat. You want to make sure that you turn off your notifications. Okay, and the way to do that is. Okay, here we're back at the main screen again, right? We will go into the chat. Boom. All right. The three buttons again, that's your options menu. And if you scroll down to notifications right here underneath the members of the group, notifications, you hit that. And you can either have no notifications or silent notifications. But you want to make sure that you pick at least one of those two options. Otherwise, when there's a conversation going on and maybe you're trying to sleep or you're at work or you're having dinner with your family or something like that and your phone's going bleep, 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 Or you don't want your bleep, wife bleep. to yell at you again. Yeah. Turn those suckers off because what happens is a lot of times somebody will get involved in the group chat and not realize that and then their phone starts going nuts. They get frustrated and they just end up leaving the group and we don't want you guys leaving the group um, because that brings up another point. If you leave the group... For whatever reason, Voxer will not let us re-add you. So make sure that you do not leave the group if you want to continue to participate in the conversation. So turn off your notifications. It's very important. Um, I'm going to go back out of here. We're back at that options menu. Uh, you can see down at the bottom where it says leave chat. That's You want to stay away from that because if you do that, we can't add you back in. Now, on the Apple version... Why don't you show them? Well, for some reason, I don't know, the group is gone on. Okay, here's what happens. <clears throat> if you clear the chat or delete the chat, Mark all on the friends. Apple version, the chat will disappear until somebody leaves another message. So I'm going to... All right. Hey, guys. See how that just popped up on that one? Because I'm leaving a message here. Uh, we're just doing a test video. All right, and now that repopulated his. That's that's odd because uh, maybe it's if it's you know cleared on there, it's um, it stays on there, but not on here. Because if you are in the chat, you can go and mark all as heard. Okay. So. So on this one, instead of those three dots up at the top, it's a little gearbox 
icon. Yeah, in, in the in the chat to get you your have options, the gear there, which will get you to your more it, options, your options here, and you just have a little, little less options on the uh, iOS version. But here's your normal notification. Your notifications will show there. There's normal and extreme and off. Um, so if you want to keep it off. And now on the Apple version, if you want to clear all those messages, you click uh, delete. You want to go back to the chat, gear, mark, mark all as heard, and it will mark them all as heard. But then if you want to clear those messages though, um, if you click delete chat. Delete chat? Yeah, delete chat. That will clear all those old messages, and you see the chat disappears again. And it, it but don't, I'm not don't gone. freak out, don't freak out, because it'll it'll stay gone like that until somebody leaves another message. So I'm gonna, hey, I'm just leaving another message. Can you see how that popped back up back there, up. like there? So delete chat, gets rid of your old messages, but do not click leave chat. You want to show them where that is again, with the options, yeah. options, more options, and leave then chat. leave chat. Do not. Click the leave chat because once you're gone, we can't get you back in. Just put some tape or, uh, over the screen <laughs> yeah. so you can't press that. Okay. Uh, so that's probably the biggest tips about um, notifications. About the group boxer in general. Yeah. Um, if you have any questions about that kind of stuff, go ahead and, and holler at me. Um, I'll try and help you out as much as I can. But. <coughs> I'm going to show you a couple more tricks about Boxer in general. Um, if you're playing, if you are, okay. If you delete all those old messages, obviously you can't go back and hear them again. But sometimes some of us are crazy enough that we go back and listen to the old messages. You don't have to, but I try and keep up with as much as I can. Um, and, you know, I'm driving late at night and nobody's on Boxer and it's just me and I'll go back and listen to the old messages. So I'll be blowing through several hundred messages and in order to do that I listen to it at a fast speed. Now if you click a message while it's playing you will see Hey guys, see how that just popped up on that See one? the uh, little arrows? You click the arrows and it will do uh, Click it once and you'll see it's two times the speed. Click it again, it'll be three times the speed. And click it again and it will be four times the speed. And from my experience, that sets all your playback currently at that speed. Yeah. So you have you set it for one message and it applies to all messages. And honestly, four times the speed is probably a little fast, it's especially for certain people in our group tend to talk fast anyway, or if people have an accent that you're not used to or something like that, yes. four times the speed is a little bit fast. I think that three times the speed is probably, that's the sweet spot. That's where you're going to be able to burn through the most messages and still be able to catch everything that's going on. So uh, that's one thing. Here's something else that I recommend, um, and you have to be inside a conversation or inside a chat, okay? Um and this, this is on both operating systems. If you click the three little dots here, okay, and then the hold and talk down here is currently turned on. See where it says hold and talk? Because okay, so that's called hold and talk on the Android. Right. What's it, what's um, it on there? And so you're going to use there, More options, options, tap to talk. Tap to talk, okay. So that's currently on, and we're going to turn it off. All right, I just turned it off. What that does is now when I'm going to leave a message, okay, I press the button once, and now I'm recording a message. It makes hands-free a lot easier. Uh, it's much better, especially if you're driving or something like that. Or you're long a message. windage. Yep. Long wind. What are you trying to say? I'm, Some of us like to talk a bit. <laughs> and when you're done leaving your message, you just press the button again. And it turns it off. Okay, so that's what the press to talk is off. Uh, if you have it, I'm going to turn it back on. If you have it on, then in order to leave a message, you have to press and hold, you have to hold your finger on there the whole time you're leaving a message. And that to me is just a pain in the butt. So I like to have that turned on. Yeah. And it looks like, um, so I don't actually use that option, but it looks like it's the opposite or named differently. So it is, that's. Hold the talk. Yeah, you have to so. turn that off. 
go, um, hold the talk is default. If you turn that right, off, you, you just you it tap off. it, and it and it starts recording. Right. So, like by default, tap the talk is off on this. You have to turn it on, and now you are tapping the talk. Now you are tapping the talk. <laughs> okay, so probably the last thing I can think of right now. That's yeah. That's it for the the iOS is pretty simple. That's pretty much all you can do. Uh, uh, this is just for Android users. Yeah. Um, go back out to the main menu where you have all your chats. Okay. Click your options in the main menu. All right. And you'll see down here uh, notifications. You click on that. Uh, there's a talk chirp button. I don't like having that on because that it chirps every time you press it. Uh, press to leave a message. But uh, notification types you'll see up top. Uh, oh wait, that's normal. Okay. Oh, notification tone. That's the one I'm looking for. Mm -hmm. All right, notification tone. And you can change instead of having that annoying boxer. Bleep, bleep, okay, you can change it to be any one of your normal ringtones. Subtle, which so I have done on right. my Android. He's so. got it on Ripple right now. So see, that's it's much, much more subtle and easier on the ears than the loud bleep, bleep, on Voxer. So that's one thing you can do with the Android. Unfortunately, if you guys are apple juice drinkers, you can't do that. So I think that about, sorry that you know, this is 16 and a half minutes already, but I figured this would be a good way to kind of mm -hmm. help you guys out with some tips on Voxer. Oh, here, let me show you one more thing that we just kind of went over in the group today. Um, I'm going to leave a picture on here. Um, you got some pictures on your phone that I can use in your gallery or yeah okay so to leave a picture you click your little thing and uh, you can either take a picture with your camera or leave one hey, that's in your gallery are there any pictures that shouldn't be seen oh, I think so. okay <laughs> uh, yeah I'm using somebody else's phone so I don't know what's on here gallery gallery okay and let's see Oh god, not that one. <laughs> Here, well this is Voxer image. We'll just pick this one. Alright. Voxer images. Yeah. We're just gonna pick this picture here. Okay. When you pick that pic pick your picture. When you pick your picture. Okay. Well, it didn't it, yeah, it didn't didn't do it. Um gallery. again oh come on there pick your picture okay you probably didn't catch it but just for a brief second this little the little spinny wheel was going up there make sure you wait until that spinny wheels done before you click your check mark because if that's if it's still it's still basically processing mm -hmm. and if you click the check mark to add it to Voxer once you've uh, while that's still spinning It'll tell you that oh sorry we couldn't load your picture so to, you know don't don't be faster than your phone if you got that little spinning wheel wait for that to finish before you click the check mark to add your picture to Voxer. Uh, I think that's about the only other thing I can think of. Anything you can no okay all right. No. Well thanks for watching guys and I hope that some of this helped. Uh, if you guys have any questions anything that I can help you out with with Voxer feel free to hit me up. Uh, you can actually just hit me up on Voxer if you'd like. This is my Voxer. There's my uh, user name on Voxer. B Jones 9556. You know, you can now that you're pro, you can change that. Oh, cool. So that may change. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, that'd be cool. Well, we'll see. I'll fart around with it a little bit, but at least for now, uh, you can hit me up on Voxer or just leave a comment and... Uh, uh, let me know. I'll come find you on Voxer if you leave me uh, your Voxer username or whatever. But come join us in the chat because we're having a good time. Um, this this particular incarnation, the chat's only been going for like a couple weeks. But mm -hmm. the chat before that was like a couple months long. So, um, you know, it's just it's ongoing. And uh, anybody who happens to be in at the time just has a good time chatting it up. So, is that about sum it up, you think? Yeah. 
Yeah, right. boxes are a real fun thing, and I've learned a lot about um, people and uh, subjects, you know, tobacco to you know, fleas. There's a lot of really knowledgeable people in <laughs> yeah. the group, and if somebody doesn't have the answer, somebody else probably does. Um, and we talk about any and everything, but it seems like the conversation always comes back to pipes, tobacco, cigars, snuff, you know, something like that. Alcohol. But, alcohol. But people will talk about, um, you know, the, their job, their kids, their car, their, you know, whatever. Um, you know, the subject conversation could be any and everything, but it seems to always come back to pipes and tobacco one way or another. Mm -hmm. sure All right. So that's about it now that we've rambled on for over 20 minutes. <laughs> I hope it helped, guys. So, till next time. See ya. Vox them up. <laughs> we'll see ya. <laughs> <laughs>